groovy. Hey folks, this is just a quick vid to show the FPS effects that NVIDIA's latest driver, 496.76, has on Battlefield 2042. As of today, November 16th, NVIDIA dropped that driver in preparation for Battlefield 2042's global release on Friday. For reference, I'm using an overclocked, water-cooled 3090 Founder Edition card. I'm showing my video settings here, which are basically 4K, 144 hertz, with a mix of high and ultra settings. I keep anti-aliasing and post-processing turned to their lowest, and I disable ambient occlusion. I also disable that crappy cinematic effects completely. At the bottom, you'll see that I've got DLSS disabled for the start of this vid. Of important note, I'm running this in high dynamic range or HDR, as you saw in the settings. Unfortunately, OBS Studio, which I'm using to record this, can't properly deal with HDR footage. I have a color lookup table, or LUT, running on OBS, which sorta kinda maybe makes it look okay but it's still off. You'll notice it more in the text on the screen in the gameplay. Just know that the blurriness you're seeing is probably due to HDR and OBS and not actual GPU performance. I apologize for that in advance. Let's look at gameplay on Kaleidoscope. I'm prone in a spot here and I'm not gonna move my player. I'll even zoom in on the FPS counter so you can watch what happens as I enable DLSS. And as you'll note with it disabled, low 90s at 4K, not bad. Let's kick DLS into gear with Ultra Performance Mode. Moves it right up to around 110 FPS. Performance Mode, yeah, we don't lose much here as it stays right around the same frame rate. Balanced mode, which is my preferred, we're losing a little bit. We're down to 105 FPS or so. And finally, quality mode, right down to around 100 FPS. Overall, DLSS is worth enabling in my opinion. It does make a difference in frame rates as I've shown.